How did a man who never held a formal political office manage to change the world? The answer is simple yet profound, through the power of an idea. The man, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, better known as Mahatma Gandhi, championed the philosophy of non-violence, or ahimsa, a principle that has echoed across the globe and through the annals of history. From the civil rights movement in the United States to the fight against apartheid in South Africa, Gandhi's teachings have inspired and guided countless individuals and movements. His commitment to peace and justice wasn't just an abstract concept. It was a living, breathing reality that played a pivotal role in one of the most significant political events of the 20th century, India's struggle for independence. Gandhi's steadfast resolve and unwavering courage propelled a nation towards freedom, demonstrating that change can be achieved without resorting to violence. The journey of this changemaker started in a small town in India known as Poor Bandar. Born on October 2, 1869, Gandhi's early life was steeped in traditional Indian values. Born in Poor Bandar, Gujarat, India, he was raised in a merchant caste family, a social standing that allowed him access to a traditional education. The teachings he received emphasized compassion, humility, and self-discipline, values that would later become the cornerstone of Gandhi's philosophy and activism. In his formative years, Gandhi was a quiet and reserved child, but even then, his commitment to truth and justice was evident. As a teenager, he showed a strong sense of moral righteousness, often standing up against unjust practices in his community. In 1883, the young Gandhi embarked on a journey to England to pursue a degree in law. This experience would prove pivotal for him. It was here, far from home, that he was first exposed to the stark realities of the British colonial system. He saw firsthand how this oppressive system stifled the rights and freedoms of his fellow countrymen back home. This revelation was deeply disillusioning for Gandhi. It was a bitter pill to swallow, but it also ignited a spark within him. A spark that would, in time, turn into a burning desire for change. With a law degree in his hand and a fire in his heart, Gandhi returned to India, ready to challenge the oppressive British rule. Back in his homeland, Gandhi was determined to fight for his people. His return to India in the late 19th century marked the beginning of a journey filled with trials, tribulations and triumphs. Primed with a law degree and a heart brimming with the desire to bring about change, Gandhi dove headfirst into the turbulent waters of Indian social and political activism. Gandhi's activism was not a sudden burst of energy, but a steady flame that grew brighter with each passing day. His involvement in social causes was as diverse as it was impactful. From advocating for the rights of the poor to fighting against unjust caste practices, Gandhi's activism was a reflection of his deep-seated belief in equality and justice. Central to his activism was the philosophy of Satyagraha, or Truth Force. This was more than just a philosophy for Gandhi, it was a way of life. It was the belief that truth, when pursued with unwavering determination and non-violent resistance, held the power to topple even the mightiest of oppressors. It was this belief that led him to challenge the British Empire, armed with nothing but the strength of his convictions. One of the most pivotal moments in Gandhi's activism came in 1930, with the Salt March. The British had imposed heavy taxes on salt, a staple in every Indian household. Gandhi, along with thousands of Indians, embarked on a 240-mile journey on foot to the Arabian Sea. They made their own salt from the seawater, a direct act of civil disobedience against the British salt laws. The march was a success, sparking widespread protests across the country and shaking the very foundations of the British Empire in India. Gandhi's non-violent resistance was a beacon of hope for millions of Indians, sparking a nationwide call for independence. His activism was not just about challenging the status quo, but about inspiring others to do the same. It was about igniting a fire of resilience and hope, a fire that would eventually lead India to its freedom. Gandhi's influence extended far beyond the borders of India. As we reflect on his legacy, we can see the global impact of his philosophy, a philosophy that was grounded in non-violence, truth and social justice. It wasn't confined to the subcontinent, but rippled outward, touching shores far and wide, inspiring countless individuals and movements. Consider the civil rights movement in the United States during the mid-20th century. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a prominent figure in this movement, drew heavily from Gandhi's teachings. 
He saw in Gandhi's principles of nonviolent resistance a powerful tool to challenge racial segregation and discrimination. King once said, Christ gave us the goals and Mahatma Gandhi the tactics. Across the Atlantic, in the heart of Africa, Nelson Mandela, the anti-apartheid revolutionary, admired Gandhi's approach. He found strength in Gandhi's persistence and belief in the power of peaceful protest. This was the force that dismantled the brutal apartheid regime in South Africa, and it was a force ignited by Gandhi's philosophy. In the Far East, Aung San Suu Kyi, the Burmese political leader, has often cited Gandhi's influence on her peaceful struggle against military rule in Myanmar. Despite years of house arrest, she remained committed to her non-violent approach, a testament to the enduring power of Gandhi's ideology. But Gandhi's legacy is not just about political leaders or movements. It's about the everyday people who, inspired by his teachings, act with compassion and integrity, who stand up for justice, who strive for peace, even in the face of adversity. It's about the teachers educating future generations about the power of non-violence, the activists fighting for human rights, the ordinary individuals choosing truth over falsehood. Gandhi's life, his philosophy, his actions, they all continue to reverberate around the world, reminding us of the strength of non-violence, the importance of truth, and the power of love. His legacy lives on in every heart that believes in the possibility of a more just and peaceful world. Gandhi once said, be the change you want to see in the world. And indeed, he was that change, leaving an indelible mark on the world. Gandhi's life was a testament to the power of peace and non-violence. In a world where power is often equated with force, Mahatma Gandhi stood as a beacon of hope and resilience. His unwavering commitment to non-violent resistance, his relentless pursuit of truth and justice, and his steadfast belief in the inherent dignity of all people, have left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Even today, Gandhi's philosophy continues to inspire millions around the globe, proving that the power of non-violence and truth can indeed change the world. Before we conclude our journey through the life of Mahatma Gandhi, we'd like to take a moment to express our gratitude. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of a man whose life was a testament to the power of peace, truth, and non-violence. His story isn't just a chapter in a history book, it's a beacon of hope for a better world. A world where power doesn't equate force, but to truth and dignity. We hope that this video has not only educated you about the life and legacy of Mahatma Gandhi, but also inspired you to ponder on the principles he stood for. As we navigate through the challenges of our own lives, may we remember Gandhi's unwavering commitment to peace and justice. Remember, each one of us holds the power to make a difference. As Gandhi himself said, be the change you wish to see in the world. So thank you once again for watching, and until next time, keep seeking, keep learning, and keep making a difference. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about the life and legacy of Mahatma Gandhi.